it's Sally and welcome back to my channel. Before I start I just want to say if my voice sounds a bit weird, I had my tonsils taken out like a week ago and my voice isn't fully back to normal yet so I sound a bit weird that's why. Today I'm going to be doing something which is super fun but also kind of scary and that is doing my acrylic nails at home. I have done this before, I've done it twice and each time it kind of goes okay but I'm definitely no expert and I definitely don't know 100% what I'm doing but it kind of works normally so uh, so yeah I'm kind of nervous but I'm hoping for the best so without any further ado I guess we should get started and see if this is going to be fun or a fail. Let's go! Okay guys, so before I start I'm going to tell you what you will need if you want to do this and what I'm using. So, okay, first things first, we've got like the actual nail extensions. So I got this on Amazon and it was not too expensive and there's a lot of nails in there. Um, but originally I got a mini kit that was £5 and that £5 kit also had this in it which is the acrylic powder which is what makes like the most of the nail kind of. It also had this acrylic liquid and it's the brand Kiss which they do a lot of like nail things, you might have known the brand already. There is the brush that you apply it with which is really small but it doesn't really need to be big so. The nail glue to attach the extensions and also nail file because you're going to need to file down your nail. And then I also have, which I got separately, this like nail file thing which has the spinny head. Then I also have a nail cutter which I got on Amazon. You kind of need some kind of brush because it gets a bit dusty and I just have this little mermaid brush that I got Christmas and I use this. If you really want to be like professional with it then you probably want to push back your cuticles. And so I have this cuticle cutter, I don't know where it came from, it's my mum's. But I also have this little like toothpick looking cuticle thingy. So then I'm going to be doing chrome gel nails and so for that you do need gel nail polish obviously. So I have gel colour, top coat and base coat. And then I have the chrome powder and the little brush thing that you put it on with basically. And then because I'm doing that I also need dry wipes so I have these nail top coat wipes and I'm just leaving them to dry for a bit so that I can use them for that. Oh and the LED light which I'm doing because I have gel nails but if you were going to do just normal nail polish obviously you wouldn't need that and that would also make it a lot less expensive if you don't have to buy all the gel stuff but you know just need to think about it. So I'm going to do some maths and I'm going to put up on the screen approximately how much it costs to have these things here and Basically, it's fairly expensive, I already know that, <laughs> however, compared to getting your nails done every two to three weeks for, what, like £30, then I think in the long run, if I was doing this all the time, it would probably be a lot cheaper. Okay, so, step number one is to prepare your nails, and to do this, what you want to do is basically trim them down short and also file them on the actual like base of it to make sure that there's no bumps and ridges. Don't really know why, but that's what you have to do. So I'm gonna use just a normal nail file first and I'm literally just gonna file my nails. Okay, so I've just filed down the ends of my nails, like the edges, and now I'm going to file on the actual surface of my nail, and I'm going to use my little tool thingy, and I'm going to use one of the softer files because I don't want to, like, file too deep or anything, but I'm just going to file down and smooth the surface of my nail. Okay, so now I've done that, I'm going to brush them because they are dusty, my little mermaid. Okay, and now I'm going to push back my cuticles as well. Um, 
yeah. I'm only gonna do it a little bit because I always do it too much and then it hurts. Cuticles push back and that is step one complete. The next step is gonna be applying these and this is kind of scary because you know it just is what if I like do it wrong the first thing I'm going to do is measure up what size for what nail now nah, I'll just do it as I go along I have quite small fingers so I'm going to use the smallest size for my pinkies oh my gosh I'm really scared <laughs> why am I so scared the glue in the kind of like bottom bit that is going on my nail on my nail and hold it there I don't know how long you're supposed to hold it for or anything like that but you know we are just YOLO it yeah that's stuck and these nails are quite long so they're definitely gonna get trimmed down quite a lot I'm gonna do it like one finger then the, like I'm gonna do both hands I don't know if this is a smart way to do it Maybe I'm just not a smart person, we don't, we don't know. Okay, so I've just finished sticking on all of the extensions. They look so long that it's, imagine having nails this long. I could not deal with that. So the next step will be to trim them down. So I need to use my, this cutter thingy. And you can do it without this because you can just file it with a file, but it takes so long. So I'm gonna use this. I'll do my pinky first. Okay, which way do I do it? I actually don't know which way to hold this. I'm gonna hold it this way. And do it like there. You might be bailing. Is that the same yellow shirt you used to wear? But a thousand years. So now I've got like the length I want it to be. It's the scary part. It's time to do the actual it's like acrylic powder thing. So I need to put acrylic liquid in a little thing. So I'm putting it in here. And this stinks, by the way, it reeks. So we've got acrylic liquid, and then acrylic powder, and then we've obviously just got the brush. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so nervous. Okay, so I'm gonna wet the brush. So you take the powder and you just like, move the brush along the surface, kind of. You don't wanna like dig, you just wanna touch the surface, and it makes a ball of this stuff. Oh my gosh, okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Guys, this was the most nerve wracking part. It's just kind of scary, you know what I mean? Like, you're just like putting this stuff on your nails and like it could be bad and it could all just go wrong and it's just really scary. But you know, I just, I think the only thing that could really help my nerves is if you would subscribe. So click that big red subscribe button and subscribe to my channel please. Thank you. Okay, now on with the video. <laughs> oh, 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 schnitzel. First little like addition did not go too terribly. I think that went okay, but obviously I need to put a load more on just that nail. You know, I think that's the pinky about done. It's questionably bad, but I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my nails and I might get better as I go along, who knows? Okay, 
Okay, so now that I've done that, the next thing I need to do is wait for them to dry and then file down the actual like acrylic. One of them is really bad. This one's actually terrible, I look. But like I'm kind of happy with the shape, so I might not do much with that. But I'm gonna try and just like file down the surfaces with this first. tired from staring at them but I've shaped them the next thing to do is paint them with normal gel polish so that's gonna be the next step I'm doing a base coat first I don't know if you actually have to or not but I am I think the biggest downside to this isn't even the price it's the time it takes Okay, next I'm going to do the colour coat, which you can do like, I think you can do one or two layers because it doesn't matter as much because you're covering it with chrome, or I am, because I'm going to do chrome, but I'm just going to do one layer. Okay, so now I'm going to wipe the tops. So it makes it, you have to wipe it until it's like matte. So yeah, now I've got the chrome powder and I'm going to do that and that's the next step I guess. But they're not going very well and I'm really upset about it. So you just dab it in like that and then on your nail, you like pat it on. So now I'm going to do the top coat and hopefully this finishes it off alright. I don't know, but let's try. my hands and that will be the final step and I might put some moisturiser on too and then we'll be done and we can take a look at these bad boys. Okay so the review. To be fair they don't look bad like unless you look at them like hmm if you look at them like this then yeah they don't look great but if you look at them like this they look fine to be honest. It took quite a long time to do which for me isn't great because I have quite a busy schedule most of the time so I don't know if it's something I'd be able to fit in like once every two weeks or whenever. The overall big question, was it fun or was it a fail? It was fun. Overall I think it was good fun and although it was a little bit stressful I think I'd do it again and I feel like I could get better at it with practice as well so I think that's pretty good and I guess that's this video so if you enjoyed please subscribe because it really helps me out click that big red button you know what to do I post videos every Sunday and Wednesday and you don't want to miss a thing so you should turn on notifications as well so you can be notified when I post a new video you can keep up to date by following all of my social medias which are linked in the description box below and finally if you've not already then please give this video a big thumbs up and let's try and get this video to a thousand thumbs up thank you so much for watching i love you a lotty and i will see you in my next video bye